Thanks, Ken uh, Minister, you made the point that it would be foolish to deviate from the path of reform. I think it's much more foolish to not realise that you can't get onto the path if the person riding the bicycle is pedalling in the opposite direction. And that's the problem and the situation that we're in. It is incredibly tiresome to be here again discussing this. But Noreen O'Sullivan is not going to survive. And keeping her there is just making the job of reform more difficult. And that's not personal. It's actually the government's fault for appointing her in the first place because contrary to your protestations that this was best international practice, the criteria laid down for the job was a knowledge of Angarda Siakana and Noreen O'Sullivan was the only one who could meet that criteria. And the problem was we had decided that we were not going to get an outsider when an outsider is precisely what was needed because Noreen O'Sullivan, like many of the Garda hierarchy that was there, was brought up inside an organisation which is now found wanting of substantial change. And I think if we needed further evidence, it should, the decision should have been taken after the O'Higgins uh, Commission findings and the evidence of the Commissioner's attempt to impugn the reputation of Maurice McCabe. We have another tribunal on now about that campaign being orchestrated by the Commissioner. We know her day-to-day -day job has been interfered with while she prepares and assembles a Cabinet kitchen to defend those allegations. And it comes back to the problem that what What's been said in public and what's been done in private are two different things. We have um, most of, if not practically all, uh, bar one uh, whistleblower out sick. We've had disciplinary proceedings initiated against the people who are making claims to the Charlton Tribunal and the loss of confidence of the members of the force, members of the public and the majority of members in this House and it's time for action on it. Thank you. Deputy Bruin. Uh